Thunder Bay is headed into what Paul Pepe, the manager of tourism, says will be our best tourism year ever. Today, the Thunder Bay Experience magazine was launched for 2024. Here's some coverage. So my name is Paul Pepe. I'm the manager of Tourism Thunder Bay, and we are a department of the Thunder Bay Community Economic Development Commission. Uh, and I'm really thrilled with the turnout here today. I really want to welcome you all here today. Uh, there's a couple of reasons, um, some obvious, some not so obvious, of why uh, we're having this little event here today. Um, first, I wanted to start off by acknowledging that we are on the traditional lands of the Anishinaabek people of Fort William First Nation, signatories to the Robinson Superior Treaty of 1850. I um, also want to uh, honor the contributions of Indigenous and Métis friends, our neighbours, our relatives here in the community of Thunder Bay and around as well. And the contributions they make to making our community so much richer. Uh, so today we're here to, um, you know, to kick off our 2024 Visitor Magazine. And that's just one of the reasons uh, that we're here. You know, for us at Tourism Thunder Bay, the arrival of the new Visitor Guide is always sort of the official start of the tourism season for us. When the guide comes out, it's like, yeah, we know, we're off and running. So we wanted to get everybody here today uh, to, to kick off the new guide, uh, to celebrate the new guide and the stunning new artwork, which we'll talk a little bit more about uh, uh, today as well. But it's also an opportunity for us to gather uh, and to network and to collaborate. And, you know, every year we look at the visitor guide when we're designing it. And we usually start the design process in May for the next year. And we always discuss the role of print. You know, we live in such a digital world right now, and we always hear print is dead, print is dead, print is dead. And we always have a tough conversation about the visitor magazine and the print version of it. And it always comes back to people love the print. And so each year, you know, we print 60,000 print copies of this. Last year, there were over 21,000 digital downloads of this. And working with our agency of record with Generator, with Daniel and Ashley, um, and, and uh, the whole team there at, at uh, Generator, uh, to, to pull this together is such a remarkable um, feat and it's just such a great piece of our marketing and communication strategy. And so it always comes back um, and, and it's always been a very important part of our, of our annual plans. This gets distributed all around the world. 60,000 print copies make their way around the world. We do thousands and thousands of individual mail outs. Uh, they end up in people's uh, delegate packages, in sports packages, and hundreds of local businesses use this as a recruiting tool to recruit new staff to Thunder Bay. Uh, it goes out to, the, the, to folks as well. Uh, and as well, you know, digital copies are downloaded by people all around the globe. So it's such a critical and important part of our uh, annual plan. And so uh, this year, the cover, and there's always a bit of a, of a game plan, uh, is that Generator never lets me see the cover uh, of this until um, the very last minute, generally. So I never know what the cover is going to look like. And um, so this year, I was absolutely, when I saw the cover in, in, in uh, December, I was absolutely blown away by it. And we just went, wow. Everybody in our office just, wow. And, and uh, the team of Generator uh, just really, really, um, you know, just knocked it out of the park uh, this year. And I really got to you know, hand it to Amanda at uh, a Generator, who designs the book every year. She's the graphic artist on it. And the team, as I said, Ashley and Daniel and Scott and Brian and everybody at Generator that works for us. So um, this was commissioned by two local artists, by Shelby Gagnon and Lack Williams, who did such an amazing job at articulating our theme this year, which was on the land, on the water, and on the plate, our three themes that connect us to the fact that we are on the shore of the world's largest freshwater lake, that we are on the edge of the world's largest contiguous boreal forest, and that connectivity to our natural environment is what feeds us, and what feeds us physically, and what feeds us uh, in our souls, and, um, and it really influences even our culinary scenes. I, I, gotta, I gotta do a shout out to, uh, we got a couple of folks from the Culinary Tourism Alliance at the back there of the room there. We've got Gabrielle and James, uh, who are here on a four day content trip to the city as well right now. So they popped in here to, to celebrate this as well with us today. And so all of this really influences our identity, our tourism identity, our local, our cultural identity. And I think with that theme, uh, Shelby and Lack just absolutely articulated it so well. And I wanna call them up. Uh, to say a few words about their inspiration and how they pulled all this together and what inspired them to do this. So without further ado, I'll call Shelby and Lack up. Yeah. Uh, bonjour, Dr. Navia. Um, we watch you play Digital Cast. Um, I'm Shelby. I'm from Maryland First Nation. Um, how I feel about this magazine cover is um, a lot. Like, I really put, we put the bond into it. We wanted to represent Thunder Bay and the, you know, the sacred sites of uh, Nana Bijou, the Sleeping Giant, and Nipki Baju. Um, okay, um, as well as the spirits of, of the medicines and the plants and the fish and the food and 
kind of that feeling when you're looking out <laughs> to the lake and just that that beautiful kind of like um, sunset of a, of a sky that you see and have the privilege of looking at every single day. Um, that's kind of like my perspective on this. Um, just really, really loving this land and putting that love into this art form. Um, yeah, having grown up here, how always waking up to the same giant, I just wanted to put some love into that and, and put it on the thing. It's pretty well said. <laughs> um, Juju, Black Fish Pies, this one should see Wagong and OG, they go down. Uh, so my name is Black, I'm from Grass Heroes Reservations and Caribou Clan. Um, this project was super exciting. It was maybe our third time doing an art project together, Shelby and I. And it was really exciting to have exciting to have something like in print, something that you can like carry around because our background is more um, on murals. Um, so doing this format was super exciting and just to yeah honor the land, the surroundings and like the foods that are local to our areas. Um, and not only um, Nanabiju but um, and then Kiwashu, Thunder Mountain, um, and on the other side of the magazine. So we wanted to honor both of the mountains that are iconic to the lands here. Um, and yeah, just super stoked on it. And just wanted to thank Amanda and give a shout out to Sonia for recommending us. Um, and yeah, much <laughs> We're with Ken Boschkoff, Thunder Bay's new strong mayor. Ken, what does tourism mean to Thunder Bay and to the residents and to the visitors? It's a heartbeat. It's uh, it's something that uh, shows that our community is thriving and that we have a lot to be proud of. And that energy in itself uh, really is a, the best source of civic pride. The magazine today, what do you think of the, the launch of it? You know, uh, Paul Pepe talked about the actual magazine being so popular in a digital age. That's kind of neat. It is. Uh, I uh, put mine in a cover and use it as a, a total reference year-round because it's so indispensable. All right. Thank you. You bet. Like what you see? Subscribe. Hit the like button. And make sure to hit the notifications.